Good morning. Y'all know I don't like to get up early, but Jay had to get up early. To, she's going to get the grandbaby and help out in Baton Rouge. So I'm going to make a little solo trip and uh, see if I can continue off of that success. An epic trip of yesterday. If you saw the video, if you didn't, go back and check it out. It's unbelievable. Uh, the big trout that we had, you know, nothing six pounds, but some three and four pounders that we released. And... Uh, Hopefully I can I maybe get a five or six pounder to put on camera coming up. It, had, it hadn't landed one yet that big in Mississippi. So we're gonna try to change, I'm gonna try to change that today. It's early, but I've uh, got a full strong incoming tide, which I like. And if y'all see that tide chart, early is a, a three fish on the chart from like eight o'clock, nine o'clock. And then later, at about 12 to 2 or somewhere around 1 o'clock, they got six fish on an outgoing tide when the tide turns. But yesterday was right when that tide stopped is where we caught all our fish. So, uh, you know, the tide charts is one thing to follow the moon phase, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're not going to catch fish with live croaker or live pogies or live shrimp. I think the fish can't resist. If they're there, they're going to they're gonna eat. You're going to catch some. But you get more of a frenzy during that moon phase. So just trying to help out my fellow anglers. We'll see you on the water. Man, I had to catch that sunrise for y'all because it's not often that I'm this early out for a beautiful sunrise. But look at that. The wind picks up about three o'clock today where I'm heading, but look at that, huh? Is that beautiful? Bay St. Louis Bridge, beautiful place. I love Grand Isle, but I love this place too. You can love more than one place, right? You can only love one woman, supposedly, but you can, <laughs> that's funny, y'all gonna get me on that. But um, you can only, you love one woman, you can love multiple places to fish, right? Look at that, how beautiful. I'm heading out there to get my bait. At Roscoe, so uh, it might be too early this morning, you know. The, the bite is a little later, but we're gonna see. The tide needs to start coming in here. It's a beautiful coast over here on the Mississippi coast. I tell you what, you don't have to go to Florida. You got a lot of good fishing over here, and many, many things to do over here. Great places to eat, casinos if you want to gamble, and just great fishing. Of course, I showed you all that. Come check out the Mississippi coast, man. It's awesome. First big comes, barely hook it in. I got it on this side of the rocks this morning. Let me get this fish in. And then it came to that same spot. Get him running, boy. Huh? Big hunger trout, boy. Man, I got this thing in quick. I wanted to see y'all to see it in the water, but this is a giant doormat. They feeding on all these minnows. I said, this, there got to be some plumber right here. He ate that big old croaker like a unbelievable. Look at the size of that, y'all. Unbelievable. I'm going to get some more of that right against them rocks. I guarantee it. Crazy this morning. Green belly hook. Look at that big old booger. Mm -hmm. In that pretty green water. What? Man. I just caught a bad big clowner, but there's so much bait, it's hard to... Let me get this fish in. I need two hands. He's too heavy. It's hard to get him. I got so much bait right here, man. Taking a slow bite. I wouldn't believe it with all this. Ooh, all right, let me tell y'all what's going on right here. I got a Carolina rig set up right here. It's it's pretty deep right here, probably six, seven feet, so I'm not getting to the bottom. I got a couple of real good bites on the croaker and missed them, and I caught that big doormat, so I'm thinking it's flounder. So I'm going to the bottom. We're gonna see what's gonna happen on that one. And then I just caught that nice trout on the free line. But the, the bait is hugging kind of on the rocks today. It's calm, calm out here, it's hot. But uh, hey, it's one here, one there. You'd think it would be blowing up like, like the last video I did, but uh, there's beautiful fish here. You just gotta be patient. Man, I was trying to put my old man hat on and this sucker struck, I had to set the hook with my left hand. <laughs> Look at this big old booger. Right there against them rocks, man. I got the Carolina rig ain't done nothing. I, I missed something on it, but the free line's still catching them. One here, one there. Beautiful trout. Man, I thought I had another big flounder, but I got a big old sow trout instead, but I'll take it, huh? It feels just like a flounder, boy. 
Hugging down, staying down. Pretty fish. Man, another slammer jammer. Oh, big fish over here, man. To the I mean, this marsh, look at that. Got a little marsh area, the rock, got a little crack in the rock right here. These cracks, that's where they're hanging out. They don't need the glass minnows. I got away from the glass minnows. It seemed like the winds changed directions and I'm getting faster bites. Man, that's a hog right here, guys. That's a hog. Look at that. Oh, man. Beautiful. Unbelievable. It just turned on right here. Got out of them glass, got in the deeper water, and that's a release fish right there that's 22 inches wow man look how long that's a big old hog man <laughs> look at this that's insanity right there that's insanity that fish is 23 i'm gonna have to release it too all the fish are too big it's crazy man Man, all I can say is wow, wow, wow. Look at these fish, man. Every one of them is every one of them is, a, is is at least three pounds. That's 20 inches plus. Look at that. I mean, that's insanity. That current's moving perfect right there. Coming out of the marsh with an incoming tide. It pushes that water in the marsh and it comes out these little cracks. These little holes in the rocks along the, the sound. But you know, I, I never came here with croaker before. I came here with shrimp and caught some smaller fish, but they never seen my croak over here, man. And the score on the uh, Carolina rig is zero, and all the fish were caught on free line. So just to let y'all know. This is insanity right here, man. I thought I had my best trip on the last video. <laughs> Jay's not here. She wouldn't get the grandson, but this is my best trip. Boy, she'd be sick, man. All these fish are 20 to 22 inches. Like a cookie cutter shot. Look at the head on that thing. I released a couple already. I'm just going to keep enough to give away and eat, but man, I got ain't many. I can't keep that many because they're all so big. I'm, I got a big pogey in there that I caught on my cat. I'm going to try it next, see if I can't get something bigger than that. Hey guys, look at that. That's 20, 20, 22 inch fish with a lot of girth on it. I'm gonna let her go, huh? Wow. Beautiful, unbelievable. Thank you, Lord God, for this unbelievable bite. See, I turn them upside down in my hand and I open their mouth so they can breathe and I'm hooking them through the lips. With current like this, you need to hook through the lips. When there's no current, you can go underneath that that tail on the, on the bottom by the anus. Another fish I'm gonna have to release. <laughs> Another fish at 22 inches. Look at the girth on that fish, man. This one might be 20, but look how wide. That's a big old wide female. You gotta let her go, let them eggs go. Yeah, it's probably 20, not 22, but look, it's wide, wide on the back. Beautiful fish, man. In the green water. Beautiful the water out here, man. These fish gotta be coming out of Lake Train, you know, from the spring. Jay would be dying right now, y'all. She would be dying, literally. It's every cast, and they 20 to 20, I'm gonna say one of them went 23, I just released. That one I just had, if y'all saw the girth when I pulled it out of the water, she was pregnant, pregnant too, full, full of eggs. I just released that one. I, I was gonna put it on camera, but she jumped out of my hand when I unhooked her, so it's unbelievable. It's one of those epic, epic trips, you know, two in a row, God is good, man. Woo! Oh man, this is nuts, man. I was pulling this big trout in, another one I got on here. I was pulling the big trout in and I saw one pass by the motor in that green water. That's crazy. When they, they running in this current like like little school trout. It's insane. It's insane, man. This is about the smallest trout right here that I caught over here since I've been here. He's probably, uh, let's see, I can fling him in. Put one on. He's probably long and skinny male. We're gonna eat him. He's about, 18 that's about the smallest one it's insanity every cast every cast i can see the silver slipper from where i am where am i it's in that that i think they're all along these rocks you just find a good current line it's, it's like fishing for redfish man these fish these trout are all so big it's like fishing for red <laughs> they taking drag in that current man look at that 20 inches with girt 
I can't get him up with one hand. He's too big. See, I gotta see him on the water. I'm gonna, I'll release a bunch of these fish. Anything with eggs like that, real wide, it's going back. Y'all look at the girth on there, look. That's crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. I gotta try to find something to eat. <laughs> it's like cookie cutter right here, man. It's like cookie cutter. They're all the same size. Anywhere from 19 to 23. That one might, that one might be eatable. I gotta keep a few for my neighbors, they're hungry. Look at that, how fat though, unbelievable. Well fed too. You find the bait, guys, you can find the fish. The bait's not on the top right here, but believe me, the bait's going through that current right there. See that current rolling right there? It's going through there. Woo, man, I'm gonna leave them by, and I don't know what else I can say about that. That's just, wow, that's all I can say about that. Get your friends to come check it out, man. Move around, I had to get away. That's the longest run I made with croakers, all the way from past Christian to right before you get the lake born, the lake, the, the sound going in there, them rocks. That's about the the furthest run I made. Uh, so check, check it out. There's a lot of rocks over here on the edge, a lot of little nooks and crannies, a lot of little cuts in the rocks where the current comes through. I think all of those are holding fish. Just find the bait and you find the fish. See you next time, man. Woo! That was an awesome trip. Bam!